All right, I'm Ty. I'm Mike. I'm Roger. And I'm Charles. And we're here to discuss why our company, Best Buy, would be a great fit for the Toshiba Classic. So to start off on the Best Buy history, it was founded by Richard Scholz in 1966. And the name <clears throat> was Sound of Music originally, but was changed in 1983 to Best Buy. Uh, we generate nearly $40 billion annually, and we have approximately 1,400 stores across the country. So a little bit on Toshiba Classic. <clears throat> it was founded in 1995, and it was originally called Toshiba Senior Classic. It's uh, for golfers 50, 50 plus in age. <clears throat> it's a New Beach County Club, which is in New, New Beach, uh, Orange County, California. So a little bit on the tournament info. About $1 million sponsorship fees. It is actually the largest corporate event in Orange County, which is great for us to meet other businesses and to raise our revenue. Well, we have over 80,000 spectators annually, and we have annual coverage of three days on the Golf Channel. Uh, the social impact is <clears throat> we uh, we're involved in the Marion Dick Allen Diabetes Center. We raise more money than any senior tour event, which is about one million annually. And uh, we increase brand awareness through the community engagement, which anytime we do positive things in the community, it does nothing great but increase <clears throat> positive things for our store and our company. All right, so our partnership goals. So the first one is obviously generate revenue, which uh, is the centerpiece really of our uh, sponsorship uh, proposal here. Um, we're trying to increase our global sales, both not only to our um, individual customers, but also our business and corporate uh, customers, as we are Best Buy a Corporation, who sells um, Vizio and LG and Intel and Apple products. There is no actual Best Buy product, but we purchase these through um, our other uh, business partners, and we are looking to generate their revenue and our revenue. Um, increase uh, brand recognition and awareness. Um, this starts off with the uh, tournament, which we will talk about later. Um, and then we move to philanthropy um, next. Our sponsorship rationale. Direct, we have a direct access to our target market, which includes the 35 to 60 year old techno technologically uh, savvy individuals. Um, our brand and our logo earn television exposure, and we plan to do this through the advertisements in our budget, which we will purchase on the Golf Channel, which is the number one ad influent uh, television station on the uh, on television. Um, and this will place our brand and our logo straight in front of the faces of the uh, customers that we are trying to reach. Um, the rights to the media assets of the tournament. Uh, this falls in line with uh, social media, which we will mention later. But uh, with our brand and our logo attached to the uh, to the tournament on uh, social media, we look to drive their following their following on social media as well as ours. And lastly, golf. Uh, many people know golf to be the sport of business. And pretty much what this is uh, getting at is the fact that a golf course is a laid-back environment, but is also a place where many business deals, many business deals, are uh, established. And we feel that uh, with our uh, with our brand and our employees, that we can really uh, drive our revenue and foster these uh, these long-term relationships uh, with our current clients and potential new customers. Um, and a little statistic, uh, about 50% of consumers who earn, whose annual income is at least $100,000, um, they list Best Buy as their preferred electronic retailer. And as you can see from uh, this little snippet here uh, from the 2013 Toshiba Classic, um, <coughs> approximately 50% uh, of all uh all attendees have an annual income of fifty to one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars, which really uh, falls in line um, with our target market. And you'll see this on the next slide, which we really talk about the uh, mutual benefit, the mutual uh, how both sides can mutually benefit from uh, this partnership. Um, for Best Buy, we enhance the customer experience, so we're going to give uh, not only our customers but the attendees of the tournament a weekend and an experience that they'll never forget. Um, we look to attract and inspire leaders and employees, so this is a, an, a highly uh, beneficial thing for us because the um, Orange County where the tournament is located is, in 2015, 
was nominated as the number one tech hotbed in America. So it kind of plays hand in hand with each other. Um, to drive revenue, obviously, like I said, that's the, really the backbone of our uh, sponsorship and our proposal here. Um, increase revenue on invested capital. So if we want to invest in this tournament, we also want to generate uh, revenue for ourselves and get something in return. Um, and lastly, attract international audience. Uh, like I said, the Golf Channel is the number one ad influence uh, television station uh, across all television channels. Um, but this particularly pertains to an American audience. So we're really trying to expand um, across the borders and reach out to international customers. And the tournament can benefit from this partnership uh, through increased media attention. Um, through our social media, as you can probably uh, guess, our following it far surpasses uh, the following of uh, the tournament on any social media um, platforms. So, uh, associating uh, the tournament with our brand and um, our company and our logo, uh, we really think that their uh, the tournament's um, social media following will see a rise. Um, they have access to our target market so like I said before the target markets kind of fall uh, hand in hand and line up perfectly um, community presence as Charles stated we donate uh, annually a million dollars to the Dick and Mary Allen uh, Diabetes Cancer Foundation uh, a cancer center um, we are looking to up this number and we feel that with our presence in the market as the number one electronic retailer in America uh, we'll be able to help um, the tournament uh, with donating more money and, as I said, generate revenue. Um, and lastly, with the uh, consumer profile match here, as you can see, um, it line up perfectly. Uh, we both target males and females. Um, the age range is 35 to 65. Um, like I said, we're really focusing on the corporate decision makers who are affluent and they're both present not only within our store, but uh, also are, t are attending the tournament and um, the electronic device manufacturers that's who we are and the consumers at the tournament are the producers and consumers of uh, what we sell um, and then target market so this is kind of how we are going to uh, attack and go after our target market um, a lot of times when uh, you have a wide variety, you try to satisfy a wide variety of uh, different views and needs. It's really hard to um, really like sell yourself and market your product, but we feel as we feel that if we really uh, break down and segment our market, uh, so for example, the market that will be at the tournament, um, we'll be able to market ourselves and our products better to an, to a, um, an environment which will be um, more profitable for us as an organization. All right, so here we have uh, media exposure. Uh, Ty already kind of went into this uh, a little bit earlier, just talking about uh, the Golf Channel and uh, how it really, um, the viewership base of the Golf Channel really lines up with <coughs> what people are trying to target. So uh, in terms of the information about how the event's going to be televised, there's going to be three days of TV time on the Golf Channel. Uh, normal tournaments for PGA Tour events run from Thursday to Sunday, but senior PGA Tour events run one day shorter from Friday to Sunday. So all three days it'll be globally televised. Uh, Ty said this earlier, but um, the, the median income for viewers of the Golf Channel is the highest out of any viewership base of any televi television network. So we're trying to target people that are a little bit more on the affluent side. So this works perfectly uh, in, our, uh, in targeting people uh, and ultimately reaching our goals of increasing sales revenue. Uh, and 73 million people consume live golf uh, via the NBC Sports Group, so I feel like this is an important stat. Uh, so our tournament will be reaching a lot of people, being televised on the Golf Channel, while also uh, advertisements will be uh, <coughs> advertisements are being consumed by affluent people who we are trying to target. So it works out perfectly. Also, uh, the social media blitz we're trying to do, uh, and the, uh, the media blitz we're trying to do, uh, magazines and social media. Uh, or would be pretty solid ways for us to uh, get some good media exposure and, and just, just get our name out there and increase brand awareness, which is one of our main goals. So advertising, uh, obviously, um, uh, we'll have ads running on the, on the Golf Channel. Uh, <coughs> another thing, obviously, we're a golf tournament, and people that like golf read Golf Digest. So we're planning on uh, uh, throwing some cash for a, a full-page ad uh, in Golf Digest. Also, on the official PGA Tour Champions website, we also plan on having some ads there. So. 
And uh, social media. So uh, on social media, obviously, you can see the discrepancy between the amount of followers that we at Best Buy have, the amount of followers that the Toshiba Classic has. So a mutually beneficial partnership uh, would help Toshiba Classic uh, increase followers, increase their social media presence, and increase the awareness for their brand. Um, it, we really think that this would be a, a good mutually beneficial partnership um, for us and the Toshiba Classic. So. So uh, the Best Buy Classic, um, tickets available uh, via Twitter, uh, $25 per ticket uh, through Twitter. Uh, following the Best Buy Classic and you use the hashtag, um, uh, uh, hashtag Best Buy Classic, then you'll get a discount on ticket prices. And all, obviously, as an organization, we want to be socially responsible. So every time somebody uses this hashtag, we'll donate 10 cents to the Dick and Mary Allen uh, Diabetes Research Center. Uh, to help uh, achieve one of our goals of making an impact in the community. So in terms of hospitality at the tournament, obviously that's a huge part of any, any, any golf event is, is the hospitality on site. So the hospitality accommodations are looking like this. So uh, 20 by 30 tent, um, which is uh, the largest hospitality venues at the tournament. Uh, there's room for up to 80 guests with a large corporate logo featured on the tent. Uh, so how it's going to work is there's going to be 40 tickets given out for the, the days of the Pro-Am uh, Pro tournament, which happens before the actual play begins. So uh, from Wednesday to Thursday, there will be 40, uh, 40 tickets uh, for companies to use uh, for the Pro-Am. And throughout the tournament, uh, or for, from the uh, Friday till Sunday, there will be 100 tickets, uh, tickets per, per corporation that want to use them. So, yeah, basically this uh, hospitality is very important for us to build corporate relationships, uh, which is a, a huge goal of ours, build corporate relationships to drive revenue and drive sales, and this is where it, uh, where it happens right here. So. Uh, so another important thing is business partner accommodations. We're trying to foster good relationships with all our partners and uh, all uh, members of the management team of our featured brands at our stores. So this is how we're going to do it. Uh, we are going to accommodate... Uh, the CEO and president of LG, uh, the CEO of HP, and the CEO of Canon, three featured brands at our stores, and put them up in uh, the Island Hotel, which is a five-star uh, state-of-the-art hotel uh, in, a, in a nice suite. Uh, also, we'll be providing them with car service to and from the hotel, all expenses paid, and we'll also be providing these important executives with clubhouse access. Usually, clubhouse access is only uh, limited to members of the golf club, but in this case, we'll be allowing um, these uh, chief executive officers the opportunity to spend time in the clubhouse, which is an exclusive privilege that we'll be offering to them to build good relationships uh, in an effort to uh, help ultimately drive sales revenue. So the Pro-Am. So uh, what a Pro-Am is, it's where uh, um, an amateur and a pro pair up and play around. Uh, and this happens uh, two days before the tournament starts. So Wednesday and Thursday is when the Pro-Am is going to be happening before the tournament. Uh, and for our uh, very important uh, guests, uh, LG, Canon, and HP, um, they'll be granted access to play in the Pro-Am while also having a uh, pairing dinner on Tuesday night. Uh, on Wednesday and Thursday night, exclusive uh, dinner party access. And uh, on Thursday night, access to an awards ceremony, uh, which will uh, obviously take place in the beautiful facilities at Newport Beach Country Club. So also... Um, gift packages, parking passes, the, the whole nine yards. Um, also, we're going to offer VIP packages. Uh, yeah, we're, we're basically going to offer VIP packages uh, and uh, entertain our, uh, our corporate people that, that, that we want to build relationships with. So. It is really important for us to get our name out there at the event so all the fans and other partners can see our name and spread our brand awareness. So our signage is going to be placed throughout the course on whole sponsorships, which are the signs on the tee boxes and on the walkways, which tell the fans what hole it is, how many yards are there. We're going to have our logo along the driving range net on the caddy on the front of the caddy bib. So when you're following your favorite players around, the fans can see that oh, there's Best Buy on their caddy bib. And the most important spot is on the leaderboards because that is the most looked at sign on the course because all the fans want to know uh, where their favorite players stand in comparison to the rest of the field. So as you can see in here, we'll have our Best Buy logo on the side of all of the leaderboards. We are also going to sponsor a long drive competition on one side of the driving range throughout the tournament. 
where any fan can sign up to hit one drive, and the longest drive will be awarded a personalized home theater system, which we will be providing, which will include a 100-inch LG TV, a Samsung Blu-ray <coughs> DVD player, a Bose surround sound speaker system, and the luxury reclining seats. The top 50 runner-ups receive $100 gift cards to use in our store whenever they want. And the gift cards are really valuable because when they come to the store, they're going to, they're going to spend more than those $100 because the, they will realize that they want more of the new electronics to use in their home and office, etc. And it is important for us, again, to, be, to have a strong philanthropy. So as the participants are signing up and filling out their information, they will be asked if they would like to donate to the Marion Dick Allen Diabetes Center. And through the, not only does the money benefit us, but their information that they write down will be used in our database so we can send out emails with promotions and the new technology that we will be offering. As the fans come into the event, right at the gate, we'll be giving every single fan a Best Buy Classic koozie, as you see here. And these will help the fans keep all their drinks cold, bottles or cans. It doesn't have to be alcoholic because the kids will have soda cans and whatnot. And t-shirts. Each day, we'll be giving out 2,000 t-shirts of the event Friday through Sunday to the first 2,000 fans who donate at least $20 to the Mary and Dick Allen Fund. This will promote our name while also helping our philanthropy. Leading up to the tournament, we will have John Daly come to five Best Buy locations around the country, sign autographs and promote the event. And this is really a good opportunity for us to bring people to the stores and a lot of them, while they are uh, waiting for John Day, will see items that they want to buy, they think will be cool, and they will purchase right there. But even if they don't, we will be offering tickets that they can buy to go to the tournament. And through our promotional events at the tournament, it will influence them to go to Best Buy to purchase the new electronics. And after the event, all the Fans who attend the tournament will have the ability to bring their, sticket, their ticket stubs back to the stores and they'll receive 15% off any purchase over $100, which really generates revenue around the nation for us. So with, with this sponsorship, we really need to measure how this, how we, what our return on investment or how we will achieve our goals and if it's is worth it to us. Is the amount of ticket stubs redeemed at the stores for the 15% off promotion shows how successful we were in spreading our awareness and really um, promoting our brand to all of our target market. Uh, an increase in social media followers on Twitter from the start of the hashtag Best Buy Classic will show our brand awareness around the nation. Regarding philanthropy, the amount of money that we donate through the Twitter hashtag promotion really shows, goes along with the number of social media followers because our brand is getting out there, we're donating money, and uh, it's really just beneficial to, the, to everyone. And the m most important way to measure our return on investment is the interactions with the other corporations and businesses. So we, we will see how many of the continue our current partners where we're buying their technology are at the event and how many we continue to sell with them to purchase their products in our store and also the new like financial institutions like JP Morgan uh, Merrill Lynch and companies like that we're gonna invite f some of them and we'll see how many new business deals we can have with them to sell all of our products to them because those would be mass deals they would generate a lot of revenue for us Lastly, we, I'm going to go over the budget. We have a total budget of $2 million and the sponsorship fee or rights fee to, for the Best Buy Classic is $1 million, which includes all of the signage, the television broadcasts, the Fairway Villa,
the rights to use the PGA Tour Champions logo on all of our promotions, and the Pro-Am Tournament. For our activation, we will have a million left over to do whatever we like, which involves paying the staff to be in the villas to promote our products to our future partners. The television ads, which we will have at the end of every commercial break, production <coughs> and showing them will cost us $350,000, because that is very important, so we are willing to spend a lot on that. The, front, the first page magazine ad and the online ads. The event promotions which are the, uh, such as the long drive giveaways, are very, cost us 20000 And another big chunk is the expected donation expense <coughs> from not only the Twitter hashtag, which we're donating the 10 cents, but also just money coming out of Best Buy Pockets to show that we support them. Uh, we have to also have to pay John Daly for attending the signings. We feel 50000 for five for five signings will spark his interest and is very beneficial for us to drive customers. Our on-course giveaways of the koozies and the t-shirts to help our brand awareness are costing $85,000 and our business partner accommodations for the hotel and airfare and really want to make it a special experience for them will be $100,000 which is a total of $1 million and we have nothing left over to spend. We would like to thank you for listening and hope that you agree with us that this is a partnership that's worth investing in. Questions for these gentlemen? Yes. Um, how will you choose the five locations to do the autograph signings? We are going to, there's three stores in Orange County currently, so we will choose one of those. <coughs> One in New York because that's where a lot of the financial companies that we are um, sending uh, sending over. So we'll have two stores in New York, one in New York City and one in the the, the uh, metropolitan area around there. And we will have in the stores in L.A., Anaheim, and San Francisco because those are in California near Orange County. Frank. Is that on fifty thousand for John Daly include? Is that just like for him to go to the stores, or that include like travel expenses all across the country, also? That includes all of it for him because we're not going to make him pay to come to our event that we're paying him for. It includes coming to the five locations and all the airfare or hotels that are needed. Next question. I don't know if I missed this, but did did you say why you chose that philanthropy? That's the philanthropy that's uh, the current sponsor, like before us, <coughs> Toshiba. It's called the Toshiba Classic. That's the uh, the Newport County Country Club where the tournament is held. That's their it, they have a connection within that organization. And um, the Dick and Mary Allen, the people who the uh, foundation is named after, were both members at the Newport Country Club. Um, and that's why they chose. They were always big donors towards the country club, and that's why they chose to uh, sponsor that philanthropy event. So of all the, your assignment, you were simply given Best Buy, and then you had to determine the sport property to match it up with. So of all the infinite possibilities, why did you pick uh, a Champions Tour event? If you look at the target market, like we said on both of them, uh, it's 35 through 60, and the tournament is 35 through 65. Um, so, like the age uh, distribution of the average, or uh, yeah, the average customer, um, fall in line with each other. And then, uh, like I said, um, Best Buy is obviously an electronic retail retailer company, um, and where the tournament is hosted in California is the number one ranked uh, techno technology hotbed in America um, so we feel like that would like, like kind of played into our hands there and um, like we said sport or uh, golf is kind of the business of sport like I said a lot of uh, business deals have been made on the golf course and with um, all of our employees there the attendees and the uh, corporate leaders that we are bringing to the event we feel like it would be a just a, a good environment
<coughs> going off of that, the reason why the target market is perfect for us is because the players in the event who are above the age of 50, they, as they were stars in the PGA Tour, these corporate decision makers who are now getting up in age were watching them as they grew up, and they're the people that they went out to see. So they'll be attracted to this event to see all of the, the golfers that they loved as growing up. So correct me if I have this wrong, but I believe two of your promotions, the Pro-Am event and the VIP, VIP hospitality event, those are, you're looking at bringing in corporate executives from companies like LG, Samsung, etc.? Yes. Okay. And what's the motivation behind using those um, benefits for those folks? What was the question? Why? What's, like, why, why are you did you select them? them? Uh, because out of our, uh, out of Best, like Best Buy Corporation, they are our biggest providers of electronic uh, equipment. Okay. Just to like, to, like clarify that, like we're like specifically like like tar like entertaining the Canon. CEO, the HP CEO, and the LG CEO. So those are the ones that are getting like the all-inclusive hotel, like the uh, the car service and all that stuff. So those are like the specific executives that we're targeting for that. And we're using the hospitality, like the hospitality tents, and, and we're using that for like other other executives. But those three are like the main ones. That we're and that's a major component of this sponsorship, correct? Yeah. So when I see your gold slide that says increase revenue, increase brand awareness, and philanthropy. Which of those three are being achieved with that activity? Those two activities. We, we hope to. We hope to by um, creating uh, mutually beneficial partnerships. Uh, we hope to drive revenue, drive sales, and um, we wow. we want these brands to invest in us. Like we want them to look at Best Buy and be like, okay, like these are people that really care. Like we should invest more of our time putting our products into Best Buy locations. So there, and if when they do that, in turn, their sales will increase since we are the. Top Aren't their products already in your stores? Well, yeah, but like we're trying to like we we want like we want to create these relationships so that we can like drive sales. Basically. Don't you already have those what relationships? What saying is there's a, st a statistic that uh, seventy five percent of Americans live seventy five percent of all Americans live within fifteen minutes of a Best Buy store. Um, so what he's saying is we're inviting we we invited those three uh, corporate leaders to help uh, to come to invent to come to our event and um, have us treat them to like the weekend of their life and give them an experience because like you said it'll um, motivate them to increase their um, like our relationship with them and it'll also prove to the public that we are a reliable business partner yeah I'm not buying that okay. I think one of your goals should have been hospitality for your suppliers. That's fair. Because that's what it is. Okay. All right. It that's really fair. doesn't have any effect on re If your goal is to increase revenue, then you should be entertaining customers there, mm -hmm. not suppliers. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Um, your TV ads, mm -hmm. how many are you going to have? When are they going to appear? You said it's going to be at the end of every uh, commercial break, and they're going to be 15 seconds. Okay. Um... And that's just because of the price of it. Uh, <laughs> so, what do you think of all your promotions is going to do the best job of achieving your goals? Um, I think that the uh, the John Daly promotion, uh, we like didn't just like randomly pick out like a random golfer. Like we chose John Daly for a reason because he's the most popular player on the senior PGA Tour. So having autograph signings at different locations will help bring people out to that, like those locations. Um, hopefully, bring bring a lot of people out for for every autograph signing. So hopefully, they'll go in the store, buy some things, and maybe uh, buy some tickets or something along those lines. So we want to basically we think that this will help us increase sales by um, driving the volume of customers to our stores through these autograph signings. So. That's and how many favorite. stores do you have nationwide? Um, over 1300 1400 1400 So the John Daly promotion is the best because that's going to drive sales at five of them. Drive sales and it'll create buzz surrounding the tournament because he'll be promoting the tournament at, at every autograph signing. 
at so if it's five of 1,400, as opposed to a TV ad that will be seen nationwide. You want to rethink your answer? Uh, yeah, I guess maybe. What was the question again? Yeah, was, which one, which one promotional one activity is going to have the biggest impact on achieving your impact. goal? A goal or your goals? I think the TV ads will. Because the 15 second ads will not only promote all of our new products and deals that we have, but we're also going to have ads that show that we're donating to the Diabetes Center, which helps our image in the community around the world so that we help others and we're a brand that you can trust and you can be loyal to us. To put it blunt, there's the most people see it on TV. How many people are going to be watching the event on TV? What was the ratings? A million and a half or something like that? I'll pull it up for you. 73 million consumers Consum live golf. That's per year. That's not how many are going to be watching your event. But let's say there's a half million to a million that are watching it. An ad's going to have much more effect than a, a, a promo at the event on site or something at five stores. Right. Media has power. Is kind of the point. Any other questions for these gentlemen? Now that I've raked them over to Coles. All right. Good job, gentlemen.